there is no other option, right? Like, you either do the thing or you don't. Like, you either do the thing you say you want to do or you don't, but, like, no one's going to care but you. So this is why it's, like, it's really all up to you. And it's so annoying and shitty and fucking stupid, but it's just what is. That it's up to you. That you're the one that has to be sick and tired of not being your best self. Because you'll never be your best self, but you could be better than what you are now if you can admit to yourself. But that's the problem. It takes balls to look at yourself and to be honest. Because it's easy to criticize other people. It's easy to be like... You're listening to that person, you're listening to them, and you're like, well, I don't believe them, right, right? And it's like, yeah, so? They don't give a fuck if you believe them. Because your belief does not affect their reality. It affects your reality. So, like, you might be like, oh, you know, the people that are like, oh, I don't believe that he did 100 push-ups. And I'm like, that's great, but I'm in shape, so, like, whatever. right? It doesn't affect me whether they believe the things because it kind of shows them more than others. When you don't believe something, it shows that you don't believe that something. So it's like if they can't, if you can't do it, they can't do it. But it's, that's what I mean by it's all on you. Because people get so caught up on trying to come up with valid excuses or valid reasons why they shouldn't grow or why they shouldn't face themselves, why they shouldn't be a better man, right? They come up with the excuses of all those gym bros are assholes. You know, poor people will come up with an excuse to stay poor. All those rich people are assholes and I don't want to be an asshole, right? Like, it's like you'll come up with an excuse to stay where you are because you'll come up with a reason to be like, oh, it's better to just be what I am than to become an asshole. But you might, if you're an asshole, you're already an asshole. Whether you know it or not, that's the problem. Do you know it, though? Because I know I'm an asshole, right? I know myself. I know my light and I know my darkness, right? But like, I don't know. It's this thing where I realized no one's going to do anything about my darkness. I've had an anger problem my entire life. I went to anger management two times when I was a kid, right? Like, but it come to find out it, it was better for me to just, I figured out, oh, this is how I can get rid of my anger. I could just work out. Right, like, I figured out techniques to help myself because no one else is going to help me. No one else can save you but you. And all the, it's so cliche, bro. I swear to God, I've said so much cliche shit lately. But, like, it's real. That, like, no one's coming. No one, and no disrespect, but no one cares. But... I care, like, I had to start caring about myself. That's what I think they mean when they say part of self-love is self-discipline, right? Because if, you're, if you love yourself, you're going to be disciplined because you discipline your children because you love them, right? Like, there's a cycle thing there that if you start putting yourself on discipline, making rules for yourself, Keeping the promises you make to yourself, right? Bettering yourself. L having the balls to look at your flaws, right? What are your flaws? People that don't want to look at their own flaws will then point out everyone else's flaws. But I don't know anyone else's flaws because I don't pay attention to other people's flaws. But I could tell you my flaws, right? I could tell you... The things that were holding me back, I could tell you why I am the man I am today and why I was not this man five years ago. I, I can explain it to you because I had to look at myself and figure out why am I me? Like, I had to figure out why am I not growing? Why? 
because I would make up excuses. You know, it's not comfortable to grow. It's not comfortable to look at yourself and be like, oh, I'm the problem in my own life. I'm the reason why. Like, you can blame society and blame all this other shit. And yeah, some of it might be real, but it's not going to help you. That's why you have to, at the end of the day, blame yourself. Because that's the only thing that can help you. Because it might be your mom, your parents, your this or that. But like... It really, it's you. As long as you're grown, it's you. If you're a kid, yeah, it might be your parents. But, like, eventually you're going to have to disconnect from your parents. If it is your parents, you're going to, like, because if you don't, they'll drag you down the whole time. Right? Your parents tell you you're a nobody, you're, you're garbage. If you still believe them, then you're going to still think that. But what you have to realize is that, no, they're garbage. That's why they're telling you you're garbage, right? It's just how it is. They say you can't do it because they can't do it. Like, that's what humans do. And you have to accept that, but you have to... But you don't have to be a part of it. You don't have to be a part. You don't have to be the person that's putting everyone's dreams down because you never accomplished your dream. You could be the person that never accomplished your dream that tries to inspire others so they can accomplish their dream, right? Like, I don't know. It's up to you, the whole thing, who you become, your mindset, how much you can grow. Like, I said this in a video in the past, like... Your growth is directly connected to how much truth you can handle about yourself. That is the thing. Like, how much truth can you handle? Because if you start hearing truth about yourself, do you get defensive? Because if you get defensive, then that's your lack of control over your own ego. Because your ego wants to protect you, but it's only protecting you from the truth. And do you really want to be protected from the truth? Or do you want to know the truth? And I'm not talking about the fucking spiritual truth. I'm talking about the truth about who you are. Like, you think you're somebody, but you're probably not that thing that you think. But the people around you can see you for what you are. Right? But if the people around you are uncomfortable, they're not going to be able to tell you. Because they know that you're going to overreact about it. That you're going to get defensive about it. This is why you have to have the ability to look at yourself because or hire somebody, right? Like people hire life coaches and consultants and all this shit so they can have someone tell them the truth, right? Because a lot of rich dudes will hire consultants because they have a bunch of yes men around them. So none of the people around them are going to tell them the rich dude's problems but so you hire a consultant to tell you the truth about yourself that you're a fucking dick that like you don't accept responsibility you don't like when you make a mistake you don't own up to it you don't like there's all these things that most so many people are not aware of which is why they're not growing and bettering that thing because they don't think they have a problem to fix right if you think you're perfect, then that's the problem. And it's no disrespect. When I, like I said this in a short video once, that like, fuck, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> um, oh, that you're not fine the way you are. That like, you know how people would be like, you know, you're fine just the way you are, right? And like, I get it on a soul level. Like I get it on a like, trying to protect someone's emotions and feelings level. But if you want to become a better person, you got to say, fuck your feelings, bro. Like, oh, you, you want to feel like you're perfect? That's fucking too bad. Well, then you're going to be stuck. Because I wanted to, I wanted the real thing. I don't want no fake bullshit. I don't want nothing the fake so it protects my feelings. Fake so I, you know, I think I'm perfect or fake. No, that's all fake, man. I wanted to be fucking real. So what is real? So what's real is, three years ago, my ex left me. What's real was, I was not the man I am today. What's real was, there was reasons. And 
Four years ago, I didn't want to face those reasons because I didn't think there was anything wrong. I didn't think there was anything, like, I thought I was perfect. That's why I can say this shit, because I've been there. I've been in the place thinking that I don't need to change. Thinking that I'm fine and perfect just the way I am. But I wasn't. I wasn't. And, like, it's, it's about not being so attached to it either. Because I'm not attached to becoming the best version of myself. It's just a goal I have. But I'm not going to fucking feel bad if I never become the best version of myself. I, I'm not attached. Like, fuck that. My feelings are not attached to my growth or my success or failure or whether I'm this or that. No, I'm not, a, I'm not attached to the things that I'm doing. I'm just doing these things. But my self-worth is not attached to this shit. And that's the problem. People attach their self-worth to their job. They attach their self-worth to their money. They attach their self-worth to being a good parent. They attach. So if their kid says they weren't a good parent, it's like, oh my God, they feel like they failed completely at life. Or like they attach their self-worth to saying, oh, I have to get rich. I have to make it. If I don't make it, life was meaningless. And it's like, bro, you're, you're putting all this dumb shit on you instead of just enjoying the journey of life. Like... It's raining and shit. Good thing I'm in this bush thing. But because it's raining and they were supposed to have thunderstorms, um, I'm probably going to get up out of here. But I just appreciate y'all for watching. And um, it's all on you whether you want to grow or not. And you don't have to grow. But don't be mad at the end if you're mad that you didn't grow. Like... I don't know. Don't be scared to look at yourself and look at your flaws. Because no one's perfect. But, like, that's okay. Because that means that we all have space to grow.